What is going on, Payday Gang? Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up our Cronusen with our PlayStation 5, our Xbox, and or our PC. All right, so the first thing you want to do is just leave your Cronusen to the side, open up your Chrome browser on your laptop or your PC, and all you're going to do is go ahead and type in the search bar Cronus Zen Download, right? Type that in exactly, and there's going to be this first link that pops up. Simply go ahead and right click on this, all right? Once you see this page, all we need to do is go ahead and hit on downloads here. And we're going to have to download the Zen Studio software. So you can see right here, it's on build 82 right now. If you're watching this video a little later down the line, like five to six months, just download the latest one. So simply go ahead and right click on this. Once you guys do that, you guys will see it just goes into your right hand corner up here. All right. What I like to do is once it is indeed saved over there is I'll go ahead and minimize everything else I have. I'll open up my file explorer from down here. You guys can see that little file icon go into your downloads. And you guys should see the Zen Studios, all right? What I like to do is just simply right click and drag and drop into my desktop. I'm going to delete this older one I have just so I can show you guys. So you just right click, drag and drop over into your desktop. Once that is done, all you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete the Zen Studios and the Zen Link Configurator. But for you guys, you're just going to go ahead and right click on it, hit next, hit I agree, and then simply go ahead and hit install, all right? Once you have done that, there's going to be two new apps right here on your desktop. One's going to be called Zenlink Configurator. The other one is going to be called Zen Studios, right? Once you have those two things, now you're ready to rock and roll. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your Zen Studios, right? So all I'm going to do is make myself a little bit bigger over here. Go ahead and right click on Zen Studios. And this whole time, again, make sure you don't plug the Zen into anything yet. Just open up the Zen Studio and hold up your Zen just like I'm doing right now, right? Wait for a little bit, and then this message is going to pop up for you guys. Cronus and not found. First thing we have to do is update our Cronus and firmware. So you're going to click on this online update tool over here. Okay. Soon as you guys do that, now this is the first time you're going to be plugging in your Zen, right? So if you're looking at the Zen facing towards you, whenever you guys are updating the Cronus Zen, which is going to be on this tool, all you have to do is simply plug it in at the top. There's going to be a little, little USB sign right over here. Like you guys can see a little USB wire. So all you got to do is go ahead and simply plug it in. So all I'm going to do, grab my wire. You guys can see my wire right over here. The other end of this USB-C cable simply goes into your laptop or PC, whatever you guys are using to run this update tool, which should be on your laptop or PC, right? So all you have to do is plug it in at the top, right? So if it's facing you, this is how it should look. You guys can see, there we go. Once you got it plugged in at the top, there's a little blue button on the back right here, right? So before I go back over to the desktop, before you can hit connect, all you want to do is hold down this little blue button on the back. And on the Zen screen here, it's going to say Zen bootloader, right? So here's what that should look like. So hold down that little blue button on the back. You guys can see it right over here. Again, it's a small button, so make sure you get a really good hold. Soon as you do, you can see it's going to say Zen bootloader here. And if I go back to my desktop, my Zen is going to be found because I've already updated, right? So I'm going to disconnect. This is what it should look like for you guys. So you're going to hit connect, right click on this Cronus Zen paired thing over here. That's what it's going to be called. You go ahead and simply hit connect. Once that is done, you just want to go ahead and use the latest 2.24, right? Now I know some people, whenever they're trying to connect up their Zen, sometimes it won't be found on this online update tool. If that ever happens to you, simply means the ports that you're using on your laptop or your PC may not be USB 3.0 supported, right? How do you know if they're USB 3.0 supported? Look at where you're plugging in the other end of this cable and make sure it's blue. All right. So you guys can see my updates done. This is the only time you will plug it in at the top and then that's it. Right. So now whenever you guys are done, you can simply unplug it from the top. Now we are done over here on this section. Right. Next thing you will want to do is make sure you guys go ahead and download some scripts. All right. So I will leave you guys this free scripts download tool that we have, which is going to be on my Podia. You guys can go and sign up completely for free. Once you have signed up, all you have to do to get access to your script is simply log in. Again, this is our membership membership page. So if you guys do want to go ahead and buy some of our tiers, you guys can do that. But once you're in here, just go ahead and click on the products tab over here. And then soon as you guys are in here, you're going to want to click on the free script section, right? We have the extreme scripts. Those are all the updated versions of the script, but just simply click on the free scripts. So you guys can try them out first. And this one right over here, this is the best plug and play script. I recommend if you're watching this video, download this one. And that's going to be the rabbit version one. All right. Simply go ahead and right click on this once you are in here. So you can at least get one script onto your Zen. So you guys will see it will just go into your downloads tab. All right. 
Again, this will all be in the pinned comments below, so you guys can get access to this free scripts here. Just check that out below, all right? So once that's done, next thing we're gonna have to do is plug in the Zen one more time into the Zen Studios this time, all right? And the same wire you used before, you guys can go ahead and use again, all right? The only caveat is now you only plug it in on the right-hand side over here, okay? So if it's the Zen's facing you, it's gonna go only on the right-hand side. It should just be a USB-C port just like this, okay? So again, simply go ahead and plug it in on the right-hand side. I'll show you guys what it should look like. There we go. You can see, and you can tell right now the compiler and everything didn't load in, right? So if that ever happens to you, that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and hit cancel here. It's gonna X out of the Zen Studios, right? And then simply go ahead and open up the Zen Studios one more time, all right? That error will happen, so I'm glad it did happen in this video. Once you're in here, you guys can see everything is loaded in. Now we're ready to rock and roll and add our first script onto our Zen. So to do that, you just simply press on, press on the Files tab up here. Simply go ahead and press Open. And then next, you're going to click on Download, and you'll see the Rabbit version 1, all right? This is how you download all of our scripts, even if you get our paid scripts here. It's super simple. You just right-click, then press oh, right-click on this, and then simply go ahead and press Open down here, right? You guys can see there's a rabbit version one to get it added. You go over to the programmers tab, press the six little lines, and then you'll see the rabbit version one over here, right? As soon as you guys see it up top here to get it added to your Zen, you just right click, drag and drop into this bottom slot. For me, the third slot was the first open one. So you just put it there and then go ahead and press the play button to AKA program the script, all right? This is the only time you need your laptop or anything like that, unless obviously you're playing on your PC or your laptop. But that's it. If you play on console and or anything else, you're good to go now. All right. So next thing you're going to want to learn is how you turn on the script. Right. So once you guys are done in the Zen studios, all you would do is simply unplug the Zen from the right hand side and take it over to your console and all that. So I'll talk about that next. We're going to do the PS5 setup. But first to turn on the script. Right. If you did want once you're over on your console and you turn on the script, all you do is press the right side big blue button. All right. But when you're first starting out, make sure it just says Zen on the screen, all right? Make sure no scripts are active. It says Zen, and then you just simply unplug. And now let's go ahead and talk about the PS5 setup. Here's how you guys will set up your Cronus Zen now for the PlayStation 5, all right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure your Cronus Zen is not plugged in, all right? And again, this is the same setup if you're using the DualSense Edge controller and or just your regular PS5 controller, guys, all right? First thing you want to do is wirelessly pair your controller to the PlayStation 5, right? So you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my profile. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go up into your settings over here on the side, okay? You wanna scroll down to where it says accessories and make sure your Bluetooth is indeed turned on. I know you guys see other videos online that tell you to turn off the Bluetooth, that's BS. You don't need to do that. Make sure your controller again is wirelessly paired to your PlayStation 5, all right? Once that step is done, go down to where it says controller in general. Next step you're going to want to make sure of is right over here. You guys can see where it says communications method. Press X on this and make sure it says use USB cable. You guys can see it there. Once it says that, go ahead and press circle over here. You want to go up to trigger effects over here. Make sure those both are on strong and then you guys are good to go. All right. Now, here's how you perform the button spam bypass step. All right. Next, what you want to do is just hover over, turn off accessories with your controller, just like you guys see on my screen. All right. Don't press anything here, just hover over it like this. Then you're gonna have to go ahead and wire up your controller to the Cronus Zen, all right? So you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Zen. And again, this is the same process if you're using the DualSense Edge as well, all right? You go ahead and plug the controller into this left-hand side of the Zen. So if it's facing you, you can see the USB port. So all you do, grab a wire, plug it in here, right? Sometimes I know a lot of you guys use some really crappy wires, so it won't give enough power. So make sure you guys get a good wire on this right hand side, or I mean the left hand side. Once that's done, the other end of this cable, right over here, the USB-C end, will simply go into your controller, all right? You guys can see mine. There we go, bang. This is what the Zen still lo look like right now, right? There's no power, nothing like that. Now is when you're gonna go ahead and give it power, right? So the other end of this red cable that I'm picking up, I'll also play a video of me doing this step from my phone so you guys can see towards the end as well. The other end of this cable, just into the front of my PS5 on the front USB port, all right? The other end's a USB-C end, and that's gonna go at the top of the Zen, okay? But before you give it full power, you guys can see mine's not fully plugged in, you wanna make sure you guys are holding down right on the D-pad over here, okay? So this is how you do the button spam bypass for your Cronus Zen 
on the PS5. Hold down right on the D-pad the whole time, okay? Just hold it down just like I'm doing right now. And then give the Zen power from the top just like this, all right? And then keep right on the D-pad held the whole time until it does this full button spam step that you guys just saw, all right? It should look something like that. Once it does, now you guys can use the Zen and turn on the script, all right? But make sure when you did the button spam step, it just said Zen on here. If a script was active, the button spam step will not work. So if you had to restart, simply just unplug the Zen from the top, okay? And then leave it to the side for a second. Pick up your controller again, right? If you had a script active, make sure you turned off the script. And again, just hover over, turn off accessories. Use your controller wirelessly, you guys can see. And perform the button spam step, guys, one more time, all right? So again, get it back to this spot. Hold down right on the D-pad. You guys can see me do it here. And then simply give it power from the top, just like this. You guys are going to see me. And look, this time I had a script active, right? You guys can see it didn't say Zen. So the button spam step will not work, right? So if that happens, again, one more time, press the right side big blue button. Make sure it just says Zen on here for a second. Unplug it from the top. And again, we're going to do the button spam step a third time, right? So now go ahead and turn back on your controller. This is again wirelessly turning on, right? And then hover over, turn off accessories. Same thing, I'm going to grab that other end of the cable and make sure it just says Zen on the screen, okay? So I'm going to hold down right on the D-pad the whole time. Then I'm going to go ahead and give it power and you can see it says Zen. Keep right on the D-pad held, keep it held, keep it held. And there we go, it did the button spam, all right? So there we go. You have to do this step every time you guys turn it on. Or if you have the Zen link, you just simply plug it in. You guys can check that video, but that's how simple it is to do the blind spam step. Here's how to set up your Cronus Zen for your PlayStation 5. First thing you want to do is go ahead and wirelessly pair your controller to your PlayStation 5. Then go ahead and log into your profile, all right? Once you're logged in, you're going to go into the settings tab, press X. Come down to where it says accessories. Go ahead and press X on that. Make sure your controller, again, is Bluetooth connected to your PS5. Once it is, go over to where it says controller in general. You guys can see our communication method here. Press X on this and make sure it's set to use USB cable, okay? Once that is done, you're going to go over to general and then hover over turn off accessories. Next, you want to go ahead and wire up your controller on the left-hand side of the Zen just like this. The other end of the cable is going to go into your controller. Now, you guys want to go ahead and plug a USB end into the front or the back port of your PS5. And then the other USB-C end is going to go at the top of our Zen. Now, as you guys can see, I'm hovering over turn off accessories. And before you give the Zen full power up here at the top, just like I'm about to do, you want to make sure you're holding down right on the D-pad on your controller, right? And then again, you're going to keep right on the D-pad held until on the PS5 screen, it does the button, sp button spam step, all right? So again, you're going to give it power. But before you give it power, make sure you're holding down right on the D-pad. Since I'm recording, I'm going to try to do this quick where I'm going to give it power. Hold down right on the D-pad. And look, it did the button spam step. And again, keep right on the D-pad held the whole time. And there you go. You did the button spam step. Just make sure it says Zen on here when you do it. And no scripts were active, all right? In the Cronus Zen on your Xbox, all you want to make sure it's still plugged in on the right-hand side first. You're going to go over here into the device tab like you guys see me. And make sure where it says Outpro Protocol down here, make sure you guys go ahead and select whatever your Xbox you're using. So for me, it's going to be 1X slash 1S. All right. Here's how to set up the Cronus N for your Xbox. First, go ahead and plug the Cronus N in only on the right-hand side. And then next, open up your Zen Studios. Once that is done, click on the Device tab. Next, you want to go down here where it says Outpro Protocol. And make sure you set it to whatever Xbox you're using. So for me, Xbox One slash 1S. Once that is done, simply go ahead and use a small cable. Run it from the top of the Zen straight into your Xbox. And left-hand side is where your controller is going to be wired. Once all that is done, you're going to go ahead and manually turn on your Xbox. And you want to make sure where your controller is plugged in, that green light is on. That means it's getting enough power, right? Once the Xbox has turned on, you can press your Xbox controller button and everything's working. So using the Cronus Zen on your PC before you can unplug it from this right hand side, I highly recommend you guys go over into your device tab over here. Okay. While the Zen's still plugged in and where it says Outpro Protocol, right? If you guys are going to be using the PS5 controller like I do for most of my videos, you want to make sure your Outpro protocol is set to PlayStation 5, okay? If you guys are going to be using any other controller, you can utilize Auto and or PC slash mobile, okay? The only time you want to use the PS5 option is obviously if you're using the PS5 controller. For everything else, you can use Auto or PC slash mobile, all right? Here's how to set up your Chrome Zen for your PC. 
First thing you want to do is plug the Zen only in on the right hand side and then go ahead and open up your Zen Studio. Once the Zen Studios is open up, right click on this device. Next, you want to go down here where it says Outro Protocol and go ahead and select PlayStation 5 if you guys are going to be using your PS5 controller. If you're going to be using an Xbox controller, you can either select Auto or simply PC slash mobile. Next, all you want to do is give the Zen power from the top and also just leave the right hand side cable in. Plug your controller wire to the left hand side. You guys can see I got my PS5 controller here. Next, go ahead and press the power button on your PlayStation 5 controller and if no lights are coming, also look on the Zen Studios and you can see no devices are connected. So you're going to pick up your Zen and then on the back side of it, there's going to be a little blue button, right? So you guys can see it there. Simply go ahead and quick press it just one time. So you can see I'm going to press it one time. It's going to reset the Zen and then open back up the Zen Studios, go over to the device tab and make sure it shows up on the right hand. You guys can see my joypad and the console show. Once it does, you guys are good to use the Zen and you can unplug it from the right hand side and just leave it at the top and this left hand side for your controller.